if you have any sorts of confusion between forward charge and reverse charge under GST or you want to know the concept or if you are interested in knowing the difference between forward charge and reverse charge then this video is for you watch till end in order to simplify we'll quickly take example for example there is a supplier okay seller of goods and services okay is known as supplier under GST Act now for example supplier sells goods worth rupees 100 to a buyer, customer, receiver of the goods or service. Okay. Now, whenever there is a sale, indirect tax comes up and says that please add GST, goods and service tax, on the sale that you have made. At the rate, for example, 12%, there are multiple rates, it depends upon the product and service. So, for example, here we have added 12 rupees, and therefore the total amount is 112. This simply means that supplier will receive rupees 112, whereas buyer, the customer, has to pay rupees 112. That means the supplier is collecting entire rupees 112 from the buyer, from the customer. It is being charged from the Customer. Now, buyer, uh, now the seller will not keep entire rupees 112 with himself. Instead, rupees 100 will be kept with them and 12 rupees will be deposited to government, to GST department. Okay, it will be submitted, it will be deposited to the government. This is a simple example of forward charge this is a simple example of forward charge wherein please understand gst amount is collected by collected by supplier or you can say seller okay and it is the responsibility okay it is the responsibility of seller okay what to deposit to deposit gst amount got it seller is the one who is collecting the taxes Okay, GA, indirect taxes and seller is the one who has liability, who has responsibility to deposit the GST amount. The entire outflow is from the buyer's pocket. Now, on the other hand, if we take the example of reverse charge, here also for example, there is quick supplier, seller of the goods or services and a customer buyer. Okay, now goods are sold at 100. Now, being reverse charge, what happens? Your customer will pay customer will pay rupees 100 to seller to the supplier whereas rupees 1 2 that is 12 rupees will be paid to the government wherein the supplier will be receiving will receive only rupees 100 okay See, the in net inflow is same for the seller. There is no loss or gain over here, okay, in both the cases. The final outflow is from the pocket of customer because here also he is paying 112 and in the previous case also, the buyer was paying rupees 112. The difference is that under reverse charge, under reverse charge, okay, it is the responsibility it is the responsibility of buyer okay of buyer or you can say customer okay or receiver of goods and service to deposit GST amount this is just the difference it's not a profit or loss case in both the scenarios the net inflow and outflow is same for the seller okay and customer 
the difference is that under reverse charge it is the responsibility of the customer himself that he needs to deposit this 12 rupees for taxes to the government directly okay so we'll quickly take the differentiation part okay uh, the reverse charge as you know it is the recipient's customer's responsibility okay this is the definition given under gst act the liability to pay tax by the recipient of supply of goods or services or both instead of supplier it is the responsibility of customer instead of supplier your seller does not have to deposit under forward charge gst amount is the outflow from the buyer's pocket and under reverse charge also gst amount is the outflow from the buyer's pocket in both the cases the final taxes are being paid by the customer himself but here under forward charge it is seller's responsibility to deposit whereas under reverse charge it is buyer's responsibility to deposit the taxes to the government this is the simple difference between forward charge and reverse charge okay i hope this video helps you this video has brought in some knowledge and clarification for for, for more such videos do not forget to follow us subscribe us if you like the video do not forget to hit the like button share with your friends okay this is padi gupta chartered accountant see you in the next videos till then take care be safe stay here